joining me this afternoon for some more Legend. So this one has been a long time coming. I've been wanting to get back into recording this for quite some time. I re-recorded, I started recording this twice. Once back, I believe in January, um, I recorded it, but then it had no audio. And then I re-recorded a uh, beginning episode again in like April. Um, but instead of just using that recording, since it's been a while since I've actually done it, I thought I would just do a fresh new recording, since I'm getting back on the track of recording anyways, and get this to you guys today, because it's Thursday. My plans with ReLegend is that I'll be getting out one video for ReLegend every Thursday and Tuesday. So in line with that, let's do it to it. We're going to start a game, and it's going to be a new game. We're going to overwrite this game. Yes. All right. Make our character. So, quite a while back ago, the um, the developers for ReLegend put a big patch out and made quite a few changes. I was actually playing a little early today before I decided to start this recording to see what some of them might be before I actually got going into the game. And they're actually really amazing. So I'm really excited to share those changes with you guys. For anybody who hasn't been keeping track of ReLegend um, and what's been going on with it, super fascinating. That's what we can do. They changed how some areas looked. They added some things. And because of the things that they added, they altered, like, how you, when you learn certain aspects of the game, like, you know, like, about the Magnus and stuff. But we'll, we'll go more into that when we actually get to that part. So, I'm just gonna, yes, I am Sola. Ugh. But they unfortunately did not change this part. We still get rudely shoved off a cliff. Which I think is totally unfair. No one should be shoving anyone off cliffs. <coughs> but here we are. We do still end up on the shore next to Papa Pia's house. Which, this is Papa Pia. Um, <coughs> most of you, if you watch my older Re Legend videos, will know this. If you're new to this, then meet Miss, Mr. Papa Pia. The penguin. Sorry, I'm like dying for some reason for a second. And I don't have water near me. Oh, but I do have tea. Hold on. Oh. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Hopefully that helps that I don't have more. Okay, so he says, looks like something washed up from the sea. I love how he waddles. It's too weird looking to be any fish I know. Is it dead? Hmm, thank the oceans, it's alive. Hey, you alright kid? So that, it's, uh, this whole scene hasn't changed at all. Papa Pia, as far as I've known, with every version I've played, has always been the person to find us when we reach the island. Um, and oh, here's our lovely nurse. Recovering exceedingly well, I'm impressed. At this rate, your mysterious float Sam will be limping out of here as opposed to the crawl I initially predicted. That's fantastic news. I knew I could count on you, Edna. I'm sure the kid will be just fine. If we're being optimistic, walking may even be possible at a leisurely pace. So here's Edna the nurse and Papa Pia the penguin. Here's us waking up. Oh, you're awake. Hey, kid. Looks like you pulled through. Kid. You in Voca Town Hospital, and three days ago, you were baking on the shore in front of my house. 
You weren't moving, and I thought you might have been dead. Glad I was wrong. Since you just came to, let's start with an easy question. What's your name, kid? Tom Sola. Yep, that's me. Sola. Interesting. You don't sound sure of your own name. Fascinating. I don't believe I found any major head wounds on you. What was the last thing you remember? Nothing. So you can't remember anything. How inconvenient. I had so many questions. Sigh. I suppose there's nothing more I can do for now. You may leave. Have your memory crisis somewhere else. Dear Cod, Edna, I know you're a brilliant nurse and all, but you've got to take it easy on the kid. Don't mind Edna, Sola. She's usually pretty nice. She's just a bit grumpy now because you can't give her any more answers. I'll leave it to you then. I'm going back to my station. The name's Papa Pia, by the way. I'm the best fisher penguin in these parts. I live with my family on the east side of the island. When you're feeling better, come visit us anytime and sample some of my wife's amazing fish stew. Oh, I almost forgot. You should go speak to Moku, the mayor. He said he wanted to talk to you as soon as possible. Mayor Moku lives north of the town center. Best to head there first. Don't worry, kid. He's a good man. If anyone can help you with your problems, it's Mayor Moku. <clears throat> Alright, and that's our introduction. Then we have our movement tutorial. It does stay the same. WASD to walk. And hold those buttons and sh uh, with shift and you'll run. Very basic. Interaction tutorial. Uh, still the same. You walk up to things and if you get a little crystal you can press the F button to interact. Um, so I'll see how you interact with NPCs, buying items and all that jazz. So there's that tutorial. What are you still standing around here for? You're good enough to walk now, no? So before um, when we came to talk to Edna, we had a few more options other than just healing, but now this is the only option available with her, and we're not, we're not paying for that right now. Um, Papa Pia would normally be over here in this corner, but he's no longer there for that. So the cutscene you can normally, um, start the game off with here between him and Edna, you can no longer start off with. Um, I'm pretty sure... That was supposed to, it's meant to be like a, you build your relationship with Edna or Papa Pia and you get that cutscene. Um, the cutscene I'm talking about I do believe is actually one of my older Re Legend videos if you're curious about it. But if you're not, then don't stress about it. I'm pretty sure we'll end up eventually getting that cutscene again if it's still the game. In the beautiful, vibrant place of Voka Town. It's so pretty. That's the mayor's house. I like the changes they made. So beautiful. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and dash to the mayor's house. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys everything I found out so far. Which isn't too much, actually. Um, I haven't made it too far into these new changes. I haven't even made it to the Guardian yet. And um, if you watch my older videos again, you'll know what I'm talking about. But um, if not, then don't worry about it. You'll you'll see in a future video, because I highly doubt we're going to get that far in this video. Um, that would make the video too long. <laughs> but here we are with Mayor Moku. Ah, greetings. You must be the stranger who walked up ashore a few days ago. Let me get a let me take a good look at you. I am Mayor Moku. I understand that the circumstances you found yourself in are not entirely pleasant. However, allow me to officially welcome you to our humble seaside town. Thank you. Ha! I'm glad that you're up and about. I hope our dear nurse Edna has left a good impression on you. 
She can come off as harsh and uncaring to newcomers. However, I believe that she is giving you the best care possible, so are you feeling better? You know, I don't like her attitude, but then again, I'm the one that applies the attitude to her tone, so I would think she does her job properly. We're feeling better. Ha! How wonderful it is to be blessed with you. But still, you healed so quickly. Simply miraculous. When Peter carried you through the village, even I was unsure that you would survive. You must have the vigor of a Magnus. A what? You don't know what a Magnus is? No, no, no. I see. Pia did mention memory loss. Well, the... Oh. Gunther arrives on the scene. Moku, emergency. Amelia. Amelia is missing. Are you certain, Gunther? She was supposed to pass me some herbs hours ago. You know how hard that poor girl tries. She wouldn't have left me waiting for this long, unless something happened to her. We must find her. Hmm. Your fighter instincts have never failed me, Gunther. I believe you. This is grave indeed. With the Mongnus around the town becoming more agitated and violent recently, Amelia could be in serious danger. Oh, Sola. Amelia is one of our beloved townsfolk, and it seems that she has gone missing while picking herbs. All worries. I'll help you search for her. It's the least I could do. Are you sure? I heard you were barely breathing just a couple of days ago. Don't you sweat it. Good. We'll split up and cover more ground. Here, take this. Search westward when you exit the village. I'll look north around the caves. Alright. So Gunther takes off in a flash. <clears throat> and we get an equipment tutorial. We press I to access our inventory. And you can equip weapons and armor by double clicking it. Items, consumables, and tools can be placed in the tool belt. Which is basically like the hotkeys. Um, and you do it by simply clicking and dragging the items to the tool belt as displayed here in the little picture. And that is the equipment tutorial. So, we're going to go ahead and drag our juicy meat to our tool belt, but we're going to put it on this side. We're going to equip our armor that gets rid of our awesome starting outfit that we like. And then, obviously, we're going to be magical, so this is going to go over here. This is different, too. If I recall correctly, um, I didn't go back to like watch my old videos to compare the old to the new, so I don't recall completely, but I'm pretty sure we didn't have locked inventory slots before, and it was smaller inventory as well. But now we have so many slots to start with, and then we have more slots available, but we have to unlock them. I don't, I'm, don't know how they impl uh, what they implemented to unlock these, or if they unlock after getting into certain parts of the story, but we will definitely find out as we go. Um, this hasn't changed. This is still the growth tab where we can put points in when we get points when we level. Um, the I don't think these changed. Again, I didn't look back to read them to see if they've changed from what they originally gave you bonuses to, but each stat does give you a bonus. They, I believe all three of them... Um, all three of them. All of them give you at least two to three major, uh, main stats and then a little bit into a few other stats. Um, this one's not lit up yet. I believe this is the Magnus tab. This is our progression tab for how well we're progressing in our use of things. Our life skills and our classes. This is our friendship tab where our relationship with the townspeople is kept track of. It also fortunately gives us their birthday, um, their one of their likes or love items, and their hated item. And this little thing is I guess to identify like their job or their place in town. She's the nurse, so she has the little thing there. I don't think we have anyone yeah. Even though we met Pop Pia, we don't have him unlocked on our friend book. So Edna is our first official person identified in the friend book. And then we have this p 
page, which is the database of all the Magnus crops and fish, then I'm pretty sure, um, what strategy tab you currently have selected? Yes, this is where, like, once we capture these fishes, they will appear here. Um, these are the seasons that are, they are available in. Um, there's two pages for fish, and then move back. And there is one page for crops. Um, you just click them, and click them. Well, hover over them, and it'll show you the what you want to know about them. Oh my gosh, I'm stumbling on my words. English, please. Um, for this one, you just click the seasons to change them to see what is available in what season. So this is the season I believe we're currently in because these are the things we can plant. Um, these ones up here that are a darker shade, kind of a brown shade. These are the land plants, the ones we plant on our normal farm grounds. And these ones here that are more of a blue shade are the aquatic plants that you plant in the water uh, farm, which we do have both in this game, both a land farm and a water farm. I have never truly got too far with the water farm. I know I figured it out last time I was playing. Um, it took me a while actually to figure out how to get started on that. So hopefully we'll do that in very good abundance along with normal farming. And then this tab here is the quests where we can see the quests we finished and the quests we are on. So um, it doesn't seem like they come up with a way yet for you to separate that. Like this is a quest we just we already finished and this uh, right above it is the quest we're on. But it both have three stars, and um, there's no, it doesn't like, you know, say completed, even though this one's already done, versus this one, which we're in the middle of. So they haven't implemented something like that yet, which I guess if you have a good memory, you know, you don't need the reminder that yes, this one's completed. But I personally feel like it's just nice and or more organized when you know the completed quest either has a completed slot to go to or has maybe like right here you can write complete or maybe um what they could do is where the three stars are the stars could be um black in when you don't have it done and then they'll turn gold when you finish them I don't know. That's just my thoughts on how it could work though, um, and how I like, per I personally would prefer it to work. Um, this is the key items and rewards for the quest you're on. There is none for this quest, so we don't have to worry about that. And then the last slot is the settings, of course. Um, you have the general settings here with the audio, the gameplay, language, and the video um, settings that we can take care of. I genuinely normally like to lower the music a little bit because the music can get louder than my voice. At least I felt that way last time. Oh my gosh, I just want to lower it to 20 exactly. There, okay. Perfect. Then we have the controls um, settings where we can alter actually what button does what, I believe. Or just tells you what button does what. Um, so if you don't know what to do, then you can come here and figure out everything. And then there's the tutorials. So if you want to go back and re-look at a tutorial that was given to you, you can do that too. And the reason you keep hearing flames and stuff, if it will let me... It's not letting me get out of my inventory. No, I'm stuck. Ah! I'm stuck in the, in, in the inventory. No! Oh my goodness, we just got back and we already found a problem. Okay, well, I mean, at least it's caught on video, so I can just send them this and be like, Look, I was surfing through everything to look at it and see what it's for and got stuck. Because I'm pressing escape but it's not bringing it down. So, unfortunately, fortunately, we're not getting any gameplay for this video. <laughs> but, um, don't be disheartened. 
I will just start another recording right now and post them together. This one and the video after it. <laughs> so thank you for joining me for this bout of Legend. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video even though this is very brief. Um, and I hope you guys will enjoy the one that's following it. So I will see you guys there. Um, I would say to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and to give me a thumbs up or thumbs down but I'm not sure enough happened for you to form an ideal yet. But if you think so then please I would love to hear your immediate thoughts and I would love to know your whether you liked it or disliked it so far. <laughs>